Hi! Welcome to my channel. In this video, you're going to learn about operations on functions. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon ay multiplication and division. Meron akong addition and subtraction for this topic also. Okay, now, so, paano natin multiply ang dalawang functions? So, pag meron tayong f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So, napakadali lang. Multiply lang natin yung dalawang functions. Now, sa division naman, if we have f divided by g of x, simply f of x divided by g of x. So, ngayon, meron tayong dalawang functions dito. Ang given natin, first function natin is f of x, and the second function is g of x. So, ang f of x natin, that is equal to 2x plus 3, and yung g of x naman is x squared plus 5. Now, first, we're going to solve or find or evaluate f times g of x. So, now we are going to have letter A. So, we have f times g of x. So, what is now f of x? So, f of x is 2x plus 3. Simply multiply that to x squared plus 5. The g of x. Now, that is equal to, use the FOIL method, so, we have 2x times x squared, that is 2x cubed. When we are multiplying, we just simply add the exponents. Understood, there is 1 there. Then we have 2x plus 5, that is 10x. And then, 3 times x squared, that is plus 3x squared. And, and 3 times 5, that is plus 15. Okay, so now we can combine similar terms. So, here what we have, meron tayong 10x and uh, what else? Okay, so actually, walang similar terms dito. Kasi, we have 2x cubed and then we have 2, oh, 10x, then we have 3x squared and 5x. So, we can just arrange 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 10x, plus 15. So, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, what about for letter B, we have f of g of 2. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Since meron na tayong result ng f of g of x, Pwede na natin i-substitute automatic dito. Papalitan na natin yung, mga yung x dito ng 2. O kaya, pwede nyo ring gawin dito, ipapalit nyo na yung values, ang value ng x which is 2. So, let's do this one. So, mayroon na tayo ditong uh, 2x cubed. So, ang gagawin na natin, substitute na lang natin. Instead of writing x, lalagay natin 2, then cubed plus 3 times 2, then squared, then plus 10 times 2, then plus 15. Okay, so what we have now is 2, 2 cubed, that is 8, plus, then we have 3 times 2 squared, that is 4, then, 10 times 2, that is 20, plus 15. So, we have 16, plus 12, this is 35. 20 plus 15. Okay, so we have now, 28, this one is 28, 16 plus 12, plus 35. Which is equal to, 8, 13, 1, 63. Okay? So, that's the final answer. F of G of 2 is equal to 63. Okay. Next, letter C. For letter C, we have uh, F divided by G of X. So, what is our F again? 2X plus 3 divided by x squared plus 5. 
Okay? Now, can we simplify this? This is already in simplest form. We cannot factor this. So, that's the answer. This is the final answer for letter C. Now, what about if we're going to find F divided by G of 3? So, from this one, for letter D, we're just going to substitute X now by this number 3, with 3. So, we have now F over G over G of 3 is simply equal to 2, and that is X, which is 3, plus 3, then 3 squared plus 5. Okay? Now, so 2 times 3, so we have 2 times 3, that is 6. 6 plus 3, that is 9. And then this is 3 squared, 9, plus 5, 14. So 9 over 14, that's the final answer. Okay, next, find the product and quotient of the following function. So look at our example number 2 f of x is equal to x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x squared minus 4. So let's have letter A, f of g of negative 1. So you notice here, hindi tinanong dito yung f of g of x. So ang binigay ka agad na value is evaluate f of g of negative 1. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin dito? So, automatic yan, pwede nyo substitute na kaaga dito. Si ba nagmumultiply lang tayo? So, ang f of x natin, and this one, ibig sabihin, multiply lang natin. So, ba x plus 2, and then we have x squared minus 4. So, direct na natin yung f times g of negative 1, so negative 1 plus 2, and then negative 1 squared minus 4. Okay? Kasi hindi naman hiningi kasi ang f of g of x. So, ang ginawa ay negative 1. Pero, pwede nyo rin gawin yan. Then later, papakita ko sa inyo na pwede nyo nang direct isubstitute. Pareho lang yung sagot. So, negative 1 plus 1, that is 1. And then here, negative 1 squared, that is 1, okay, 1 minus 4, and that is equal to negative 3. So, 1 times negative 3 is equal to negative 3, okay? So, what about if ang ginawa nyo muna dito, kinuha nyo muna yung f of x. Let's say f, so number 1 natin, let's say, uh, sorry, let's say ang ginawa nyo sa letter A, Tingnan natin, compare natin yung sagot. Kinuha nyo muna yung f of g of x, which is simply, multiply nyo lang yung dalawa. x plus 2, and then x squared minus 4. Pag minultiply natin using FOIL method, magiging x cubed minus 4x, then 2 times x squared plus 2x squared then minus 8, 2 times negative 4. So, ang sagot natin dito ngayon, arrange natin x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. Okay? So, ang hinahanap natin ngayon ay negative, uh, f of g of negative 1. So, ang f of g of negative 1, that would be, so, substitute natin. So, negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 8. Tingnan natin kung pareho ang sagot na negative 3. So, dito ngayon, negative 3 cubed, ano, no, no, sorry. Negative 1 cubed, that is negative 1. 2 times negative 1, that is negative 2. And then, ito naman maging positive 4, ito naman maging negative 8. Okay, so ngayon, meron tayong, ilan ang negative natin? Negative 8, negative 1, so we, meron tayong negative 9. Negative 9, then 
Dito pala positive na yan. Kasi negative, negative 1 squared, that is positive 1. So, 2 times 1, that is 2. So, ang negative natin ngayon ay negative 8 and negative 1. Okay? So, meron tayong negative 9. So, dito. Uh, meron tayong negative 9. And then, meron tayong positive 6. 2 plus 4. That is positive 6. And the answer is negative 3. So, pareho lang. Okay? Pero, ligtinan nyo naman ang haba ng uh, process na ginawa natin dito. Kasi, nag-foil method muna tayo. Then, saka natin sinubstitute yung negative 1. Unlike pag ganawa yung substitute na kaagad, no need for you to get the f of g of x, mas madali, mas maiksi ang solution. Okay? So, pag hindi hinahanap ang f of g of x, you can direct or you can substitute directly the value. Okay, so let's have letter B. Same with letter B, we have f divided by g of negative 2. Okay, so divide natin, ba? So, ang f of x natin is x plus 2 at ang g of x natin is x squared minus 4. Okay? So, dito, pwede na natin isubstitute kaagad yung value natin na negative 2. Negative 2 plus 2 then negative 2 squared minus 4 that is equal to negative that is 0 then here look at this negative 2 squared that is 4 but minus 4 is undefined so this is undefined ibig sabihin hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng value ng x ng negative 2. It's not accepted. Because dividing by 0 is not allowed. So, ang domain natin ay hindi pwedeng magiging ang input natin, which is called the domain, input, negative 2, ay hindi pwede pag ganito ang given natin. Okay? Kasi magiging undefined siya. Hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng Division by zero. Okay?